Hey guys, uh, Dan here with the customer success team at Must Have Menus. Uh, today we're just going to talk a little bit about how to get your classic menu data into the new V3 software and hopefully help you try out some new templates. So um, to begin with, you're going to want the text tab selected and then there's a couple different ways to start. One, you can just bring a menu section text box onto the design by clicking on it and then you can click and drag it wherever you'd like or we can start with the pre-made uh, section that they've already got and to open it, we'll just double click. Next, uh, I'll clean up all the sample content so I can start adding my own. And next we'll go to my saved items. So this is gonna bring up a list of all your menus, whether they're in the classic software or V3 software. And if you don't see your menu uh, right off the bat, uh, you can search it if you know the name. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and there it is. So now this is gonna bring up all my items within the section. Um, an easy thing to do instead of trying to scroll through all of this is going to be to search for the first item. Uh, I'm, I'm fortunate and my menu items are already uh, lined up right here. So I'm going to select all my appetizers that I want for my current section. And there they are. So another thing I can do if I want to change the order of them, I can just simply click and drag uh, to reorder the section. So next, uh, uh, what we can do is we can adjust the spacing controls and change the fonts. So we're going to go over here onto the left while this is selected. And you'll see that we can change uh, the colors. We can change up the fonts. We want to try something else out. We can increase the size of the fonts. And we can adjust some of these other uh, things too, like the description, the prices, and extras. All those things can be changed uh, within the section. We can also adjust our spacing, so uh, by clicking and dragging this. And we can change the layout and the order of our price. So if we want it center aligned, right aligned, if we want the prices below the section. Uh, this makes it really easy to play around with a couple different styles quickly and figure out what you like. So uh, another thing that um, is pretty common is that we're going to want a two column layout for our section instead of one uh, going straight down the page. So the quickest way to do that is to reduce the size of this text box and we'll make it about half the size. And then we'll go ahead and just make a copy of the section. So I've got all the same items for both. And you'll see the software helps me uh, with those blue lines, grid lines, uh, line those up across the top. So now what I'm going to do is I'll uh, even these out and maybe take off the first uh, three in this section. And then we'll go ahead and remove the last four on this one. So now that I've got my section uh, adjusted like that, I can play around with the spacing controls, uh, help even everything up. And now my two columns look pr pretty, uh, pretty even to each other. So the next thing uh, is for your um, section headers, the, they're separate from the actual section, which is a little bit different from the um, uh, classic software uh, you used to put your section title in with your items. Uh, instead, the section uh, name uh, is all alone. Makes it a little bit easier to format it and move it around. So if I didn't have a section header and I wanted to add one, I would just click one of these options instead of the menu uh, text. So once that's on here, I can adjust the fonts and the size. And we'll left align that. And now I can just click and drag that and set it at the top of the section. So the last piece that we'll cover is how to start your new section. So again, you could either start from the left or the quickest way to do it is just to make copies of your existing um, pieces. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about resetting the fonts again, spacing and all that. So I'm just going to click the header, make a copy, click and drag that down here. And then I will make a copy of that. 
maybe I'll make that a single column. And then uh, it'll just be the same step. So I'll open this one, uh, go to my saved items and pull in all the burgers that I want to feature in this section from my other menu and uh, just continue that process as I go along. If you have any questions, uh, we do have a chat feature right down there, bottom right. And uh, you can uh, chat with the team anytime, ask us any questions, and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible and uh, hopefully get you uh, designing much quicker. Uh, thanks.